My life has been affected by violence in one way, which is bullying. I was bullied in sixth grade by this kid, and he was really kind. He's really kind right now, but at the beginning, he was in the, his bad behavior. He didn't respect others, and he started bullying people. After a while, I talked to him, and we solved it out. Violence affects our community in many ways, such as a guy can come from any place or anywhere and can take your children somewhere that you never seen, uh, will see them again. And that's one of the best specific ways. Well, we can get more cops in the lookout in the streets, so, and, and nothing of this can happen. I mean, cops everywhere, no problem. My life has been affected by violence getting bullied in school and when you walk in the street like hearing gunshots just make you feel nervous. Well, violence affects my community by little kids walking with parents and their parents turn their head one second by being irresponsible and gunshots fire and cause a whole bunch of confusion. Well, my opinion, I think we can prevent violence by having more cops, more security guards in the school, and for the kids to be safe, have the parents be more protective of their children, be on watch, and that's it. Have you ever been affected by violence? My life has been affected by violence a little bit because when I was like five or four, around that age, um, my neighbor, he was like 14 at the time, and I would hate him because he would always pick on me. So I would try to be in love, but I was only like five, and he was 14, so he would like push and punch me. Um, it affects my community because I see a ton of kids get bullied in school, and it's kind of normal, but it shouldn't be. And my life has been affected by violence a little bit, because when I was like five or four, around that age, um, my neighbor, he was like 14 at the time, and I would hate him because he would always pick on me. So I would try to be in love, but I was only like five. And he was 14, so he would, like, push and punch me. And those kids that were bullied are, like, starting to suicide and run away. That's not good. I think we can prevent violence because, I mean, by giving those kids that pick on the other kids a hobby so they could stop and start to change into better, nicer people. Um, no, my life hasn't been affected by violence. Um, violence affects my community because many kids get hurt and like, um, because they get into fights and bad things happen to them, like when they fight, they join gangs, and then they go fight more, and then they beat people up. We can prevent violence by, um, by not getting into fights, trying to be being nice to each other, um, um, trying to stop others from bullying, doing bad things that they're not supposed to be doing, and I think that would help a lot to stop violence. My life has been affected by violence when this girl, she tried to bully me and she started saying mean things to me and she put her hands on me and I finished the fight. Violence affects my community when I see people bullying other people, people in gangs and like when in my old neighborhood there were um, people every day mostly I heard gunshots and my mother always 
told us to duck down. I think we can prevent violence by keeping the criminals off the streets, like occupying them with some kind of activities like community service, them helping disabled people, something like that. Uh, my life has been affected by violence um, because while I was in junior high school, I was bullied a lot and that has lowered my self-esteem. Um, it has affected my community in a negative way because there are a lot of people in my neighborhood who do illegal activity and the younger crowd will follow their path. I think we should prevent violence by having um, more positive role models, especially in the media, and to have more after school programs for younger children. My life has been affected by violence, but I don't want to tell the story. Why? Violence could affect my community, meaning I'm in, in school is bullies, and if it is a bully in school, you can report and tell the teacher or any adult. And if it's outside, then you can go tell an adult or call somebody or talk to an adult when you get home, I guess. I think you can prevent violence if it's at, at school, you can tell an adult or any, or your teachers or whoever's close to you, and it was outside, then you can wait till you get home or tell an adult, but don't talk to strangers, of course. And if it's home, then let your mother deal with it, pretty much. No, no my life has never been affected by violence. Well, violence will affect the community in many ways. One way is to, like, go out in the streets by yourself without nobody with you. And if, like, nobody is with you, you might not know somebody and just take you. Somebody will, like, yeah, beat you up and stuff. All themselves, you know, violence. You can prevent violence by teaching people how to be nice to others so they can make friends. Like, in one way, if somebody's trying to bully you, just walk away, get an adult teacher, parent, like, anybody and let them solve that problem so you could not be in that situation. My life has never been affected by violence. It affects my community by moving a lot of police cars on my blocks. We can prevent violence by staying in school. One day I was, at a, I was in a park with my father. He, a group of um, gang members came and shot him. For no, for no reason. Well, it would be bad for my community because it's a lot of kids who play outside and it's a bunch of wild people who wave their gun in the, their guns in the air and start shooting. And they want to, like, want to, like, God forbid if one of those kids gets shot, there's no way to, um, they could come back. Need more help.